First of all, if you are new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe because your baby is back, okay? And I'm about to do some more videos. you put your hand you have anything that you're doing when you put your hands on somebody you have to learn very thoroughly it's kind of like we are I don't want to say in a medical field almost but you have to learn and know the structures of the face the bones the muscles what they do what part of our body is connected to like it all connects to each other and it's all linked to each other some kind of way okay um so basically if you don't know first of all if you are new to this channel go ahead hit that like button subscribe because your baby is back okay and i'm about to do some more videos for y'all all right i'm not gonna take no long breaks no more even if it's like a little cute little two minute video okay i'm gonna do it i promise y'all i'm not gonna be gone for that long your girl just been going through a lot of shit and it's just been like oh my god you know what i mean um i gotta upload my vlog to when i went to la that was that was super dope that was crazy but anyway so what was i where was all that okay esthetician school so yep yeah, we have to wear a mask throughout the whole duration of the course of course everybody has to wear masks and i'm pretty used to it but i've kind of been kind of been breaking out i don't know if y'all can really tell but anyway i'm gonna get to that part long story short we have to do a lot of work work a lot of work work are is thrown at us but i don't mind i don't care that's what i went there for um what did i leave off at Yeah, so if you don't know what an esthetician is, an esthetician is basically someone who practices skincare, someone who studies skincare, someone who studies the bone and structure of the face, someone who is fluent in makeup application, someone who's fluent in eyelash application, someone who's fluent in helping you maintain your natural beauty under makeup under anything that you change about your face we're help, helping you maintain your natural beauty even if it's just adding eyebrow tint which is what i'm going to get into even if it's just adding botox even if it's just adding lip injections even if it's just adding some type of body contouring even if it's taking away hair with a laser treatment you guys being an esthetician can go so so far and i'm just not going to stop there we're going to get more into it as the video goes on okay all right so what i want to talk about is me making the best decision of my life because i think this is probably one of those things um i've always been like a girly girl always really did my own hair makeup or whatever i've even low-key did some lashes back in the day like that that was just kind of always my hustle being cute or doing something getting somebody else together you know what i'm saying so it's just always been a part of me and something just yeah i always wanted to go back to school for to do to do something else because i didn't want to go back to university because i know me <laughs> I can only do so much book work. This is enough book work for me to just stay focused. But if I'm 
being bombarded. I, I'm not a book learner. For me personally, I am not a book learner. That's why I'm not in college, okay? This program is long enough for me to learn and what I need to know for the years to come, okay? But <clears throat> anywho, this is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I say that because um, this is something that's going to stay with me forever. It's going to stick with me forever. Beauty is always, always, always going to be in style. Beauty is always going to be an industry where you can make thousands and millions. However much money you want to make in the beauty industry, you can make that. As long as you're not lazy, as long as you got a good reputation, as long as you know how to market your shit, you can make a lot of money. Okay? Just saying. Um, so where was I? Yes. This is the best decision I've ever made because when I tell you, like, when I get my license, Lindsay, like, and I'm not just saying it just to say it, like, when I get my license, it's a wrap. Like, it's over. It's done. Like, right now, we're finishing up our our classroom portion. So, this week is our last full week in the classroom. And then after this week, we're only going to do so many hours in the classroom in the morning times and then for the rest of the day and the rest of the week we're going to be out on the floor doing facials or what have you so i think the next few weeks we're going to be learning makeup application and then after that i think it's waxing and then eyebrows and eyebrow tinting and eyelashes and then i think it's break time and then when we come back from break we're going to have maybe like a month or so left to do whatever we need to do because we graduate in february so it's already almost november just imagine like how time is gonna fly like that like when we leave for break for Christmas break or whatever it's gonna be like like that you know what I mean it's gonna be like that um, speaking of days and attendance I haven't missed any days me personally I don't want to I don't even want to go there because unfortunately it's not like a regular school this is a school that you're paying for this is a vocational school it's a job you, you pay for any school you go to but it's a vocational school which means that the money that you put into it, you have to make make the best of it while you're there. Um, and the hours that you don't make up, you have to have a certain amount of hours to graduate. If you don't have those hours, you're gonna have to pay that money if you can't make up those hours because depending on the day and who's there, you can make up those hours. So I just don't even wanna go down that rabbit hole because your girl not about to be paying no more racks that I already have to pay. They're called over contract fees, that's what's called. Um, well, for my birthday, I have to, I think, take like a day off, but because I'm going to Vegas, but that, you know, missing a day or two is like missing two days. So, yeah. Um, anywho, <clears throat> I've met a lot of great people so far. I'm one of like the oldest people in my class, but that's okay. It's another girl, I think, I think she's like almost 30, like me, but in the whole school there's a lot of 26 27 28 year olds it's 30 i've seen women it, it ranges you know what i mean but i just so happen to be in the class where there's a lot of girls that are younger than me um because you know they just came out of high school or whatever so and they're all so nice they're just so sweet um what else so we learned We've learned the professionalism, how to stay professional within the beauty industry. We learned sanitation in the salon, how to stay sanitized, sanitized, what to sanitize in the salon. We've learned the products regulated by the FDA and all those OSHA agreement, all that stuff. We learned all the products, where, how they need to be labeled, where they need to be stored in the salon. Um, we learned about the chemicals that are actually in the products that we're using. So we need to know, know like all of this because if we use this on somebody and they break out, that's your ass. So we got to learn. We learned all of that. We learned all of that. All of that. We we're, we've learned um, chemical treatments. We've learned the anatomy of the face, the anatomy of the bone, and of the muscle within the face. What what, are, what type of muscles are connected to the face? And, Body and all of that crazy stuff and like you know we've learned face analysis skin analysis we've learned um massage movement techniques and what they do um oh, we have just learned a lot like within these past six weeks i 
can't believe it's almost like dang it's crazy but yeah so my main goal my main focus like when, once i get done certified and everything or even before that i want to start mainly taking clients for eyebrow tint lash extensions and facials and makeup application um those are my areas that i want to focus in not too much of waxing i will do waxing if i get booked for it but whatever as long as you know money coming in i'm really not tripping um so my goal after this and like i said you can do so much with being an esthetician excuse me i actually want to get laser certified okay i want to get certified in laser treatment and laser hair removal and body contouring because the people that will pay for that the first of all let me just say this you will pay for it with whatever you want to pay for it with your money just because something is a certain amount if you want it you're gonna pay for it people pay for what they want just like people make time for what they want People pay for what they want so i'm not worried about people who, who, who's not going to have the money to pay for my services because you know what i'm just not for you i that's not the market i'm i'm not you're not my target demographic you're just not if you don't have the money to pay for the services that i'm going to provide then i'm sorry like that's just not <laughs> i'm not lowering prices i'm not making prices cheap and affordable if you want it you're gonna pay for it and the people that are gonna pay for it can afford to pay for it. That's just what it is. Like I'm, <laughs> I it's, it's a different ball game at this point. Like I'm just so far gone about accommodating people and pleasing people and, and making things affordable. Because at the end of the day, if I want something that's really expensive, I'm gonna pay for it, right? So there you go. There you have it. I'm gonna be one paid woman. I tell you that. I make a lot of money. Um. I love everything about this program like I just really and I really hope I'm, I don't really seem too fake about it because for real like I really love everything about it it's it's a set like when you walk into the school like when you walking around it's people doing nails hair makeup facials waxes toes eyebrows like it's just everybody's just in their creative zone and element and it's I've never really been in a space like that where people can be creative and free and expressive i've always been in a working environment where i'm not doing that anymore i'm not working for nobody no more unless it's in a salon and i'm able to do my own independent thing which eventually i'm gonna have to work with somebody in a salon but my sole focus is going to be a salon owner and entrepreneur being an esthetician i'm not just going to be a regular person working out of a salon because i'm going to be too qualified and certified for that right um so yeah those are my goals in the next year i'm so excited y'all like i'm so excited sorry i'm sorry sorry sis sorry sis um but yeah uh what else what else updates i have for you guys nothing man i just really this is my thing with vlogging and I'm not saying this as to, to use it as an excuse. Like, you really have to have a support system. Like, not to say I don't have a support system, but everybody around me got their own thing going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to bombard them, with, you know, helping edit videos or giving me content ideas. Um, which you guys will, I'm going to take you guys in a, in a day in the, day in the life with me in the, in the spot, in the salon at school. I'm going to take you guys with me to school one day. But yeah, it's, it's all a process, man. I'm, <laughs> whew, let me tell you, this vlogging stuff is so, it can get real like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know, you gotta stay motivated. You gotta stay creative. You gotta keep coming up with ideas and whatnot. But, oh yes, and we cannot wear long nails. And that really crushed me because y'all know I love my clappers. Okay. These are my real nails, so just the overlay. Just the overlay. Oh yeah, because when I'm doing my facials, when I'm doing my facials, I can't be digging all the people's skin. That's just not what it is. Okay. Okay. Alright, y'all. I love you guys so much. Um, it feels so good to be back. I have a lot of good content ideas. I hope I can push them out for y'all. I really do. If I don't, just don't hate me for it. It's kind of like 
slide in my DM or email me and be like, hey, Christy, what's going on? You need some help? Can I help you with something? Or you don't have your thought about doing this. And they're like, you know what? Yeah, that's a great idea. So I love you guys so much. Um, I'm excited to take you guys on this journey with me. You know, life is all about transgressions, transformation. And I want to be an open book and share that with you guys. All right? I love y'all. Peace. Mwah. Comment, subscribe, share, do what you gotta do. And I'll see y'all in the spot.